fantasy football gods. I hate you. No, let me rephrase that. I fucking hate you. You've consistently fucked me all season. And now my playoff hopes are all but gone. I don't know what your plan is. I mean, I'm the commissioner of this league. I'm supposed to be winning. I'm supposed to be setting the standard for how fantasy football should be played. And instead, I'm a bumbling idiot of embarrassment. It's terrible. This past week, I lost to Holly by less than three points. I mean, why? Marvin Jones has been averaging over 23 points in his last five games. Sunday, he had 1.9. Garrett Hartley missed a field goal. Julius Thomas was less than six yards away from his bonus. I mean, if any one of those things would have happened, I would have won. The Jags won. The Bucks won. What the fuck are you doing? I don't understand it. I know I'm not the only one you're screwing over to. Let's look at some other examples for other players that you fucked over. Marquise Colston. The last four weeks, he's been 3.5, 2.1, 4.8, and 0 points. He was on Bennett's bench. Sunday, 26.7. Trent Richardson. People have waited him for wake up all season, and he hasn't. He hasn't scored more than 10 points in 8 out of his last 10 games. Last week, 5 rushes for 2 yards. Des Bryant had 1 catch. Mark Ingram had 5 total points all season. He had 27 on Sunday. He's a free agent. And you know why? Because he fucking sucks. Riley Cooper, he had 2 more touchdowns. Where the hell did he come from? Cam Newton his last 6 games. 37, 13, 39, 18, 34, 23. And on Sunday as a starter, he had 8. And they won. Mike James is out for the season, but he's only filling in for the guy who was already out for the season, Doug Martin. C.J. Spiller, after last week, we thought he broke out with 20 points. He had six and no touchdowns. Then a guy like Andre Brown comes around. He hasn't played all season. He's had scored zero points all season. Then he has 30 carries and that was almost 22 fantasy points. What the fuck are you doing? Tavon Austin. He was dropped because he only scored 63 points all season. He was supposed to be a fucking stud. Guess what? 43.2 points. And then there was Richard Matthews. This fucking guy. I can't believe you pulled this shit off. He had 10 catches all season. And then on a Monday night, he, he has 11 catches for over 100 yards and two touchdowns and 38 fantasy points. Dolphins fans have never heard this guy. There's like five guys on the Dolphins who didn't even know they were his teammate. It's fucking ridiculous. I mean, look at this. Matt Capper has the most amount of points in the entire league. He averages 156 a game. Yet he's 5-5. Five and five. Aaron Jones, who's 9-1, and one, averages 154. Savino, the only other person who averages more than 150 at 152... Is seven and three, but then look at Bennett. He's six and four and only averages 134. I genuinely hope this is not all the set up Dan Stack winning this league, because it would be fucking terrible. I think everyone would quit, even me. He certainly doesn't need the money. Have you seen the fucking car he drives? What an asshole. So anyway. To further prove my point that you're completely fucking with all of us, I've made a list of people that have been hurt all season, or at some point in the season, to lose enough time to screw with someone's team. Listen to these names. Aaron Rodgers, Sam Bradford, Jake Locker, James Jones, Arian Foster, Reggie Wayne, Randall Cobb, Jermichael Finley, Doug Martin, Mike Williams, Mike James, Sidney Rice, Kevin Cobb, Vic Ballard, Kyle Rudolph, Michael Floyd. I mean, shit, you can't even keep cocaine out of Justin Blackman's nose. I don't know what you're up to, but it pisses me off. Week 11's coming up, and I've looked forward to see who needs to win to stay alive. Obviously me to beat Pavano, Matt Jones needs to beat Scott, Capra needs to beat Tyler, and Holly needs to beat Stack. And not just because she needs to stay in the playoff race, but because he needs to go down, and he needs to go down hard, and then get fucked in the ass. Signed, Kamish. And on a side note, transaction fees will be updated this week. 
championship weekend is December 22nd. If you guys want to do something, let me know. I know it's around Christmas time. Maybe we can put something together. 